a warm welcome to Jah to Jaw Cartwright. Come on up. Hey, Joel Cartwright, beautiful name. Hey, everybody. <laughs> What's up? So when I was six, I was a lot of things. I was adorable, I was kind, I was funny, but I was also a klepto. <laughs> Let my brother tell it, he would call me a klepto, but I would just say, I like to borrow things and not return them, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, my mom would take me to the store. I would walk down the aisles and see cute little trinkets and stuff them in my pocket. I knew just the right amount to stuff them with. My favorite thing that I took home was a Gigapet. I don't know if you guys remember, but these cute little digital toys that you took care of. I saw it on a commercial, and my mom said no when I asked her for it, but I had other plans. There was... There was something so fulfilling about saying yes in your heart when your parents said no. <laughs> so that was my reason in borrowing things and just never returning them. Uh, the checkout line didn't stand a chance. I would pocket M&Ms, the yellow bag, preferably this, the peanut bag, if you aren't familiar. But yeah, I would just borrow things. <laughs> um, and. I would travel with my parents to their friend's house once they got tired of stores, and I would see things in their homes, like nice watches or nice clothing items, just borrowing and not returning, not stealing, just borrowing and keeping them. And it was just a good life. <laughs> One time, I almost got busted, right? My mom took me to her friend's house, and I went into the bathroom. And on the shelf behind the toilet, I saw a purple ring, but it had a clock on it. Y'all, I've never seen a ring with a clock on it. It was mine. I was going to borrow it and not return it. So I put it in my pocket, did my business, left the bathroom. Later that night, my mom came to my room. Miss Tajel, she said, with the phone on her ear, Miss Tracy is saying she's missing a purple ring that looks like a little watch. Have you seen it? Did you see it when you were at her house? I immediately got into my act actress mode. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Are you sure? Because it was in the bathroom and you were in there for a little minute. Oh, it was in the bathroom? You know what? I did hit the shelf. Something fell in the toilet. I didn't look. I just flushed the toilet. It might have been that. My mom looked at me. So you hit the shelf and something fell. Yes. And you didn't look. No. And you flushed the toilet. Yes. And you think it might have been that ring watch. Yes. She squinted. I mean, only how mothers squint at their children when they know that they in some shit. And walked away. I guess because she didn't have enough evidence, she just went on about her night. Okay, now that was a close one. So I think at that moment, that's when I decided I would stop borrowing things. That was just too close. The watch ring wasn't worth it. I've, I borrowed better things. So fast forward to a couple months later, my uncle started dating a woman. And she had a son that was about three years older than me. His name was Des. We went over to their house, and Des had the coolest room. He had everything in his room, Pokemon everything, Pokemon bed sheets, Pokemon posters, Pokemon cards, and not the regular ones, the shiny ones that show Charizard spitting out fire, the red flames glisten when you move the card in the light. It was a different vibe. And these cards were better than the cards that they had at school. I think I picked up my habit again of borrowing things. <laughs> So when everyone left the room, I looked around, looked around, looked through his things, walked past the coin collector that he had that was shaped in a Coke bottle. I would come back for a couple quarters later. I looked under his bed and found a black binder. It had about 40 pages. I pulled it out opened it up, and it was like a gold mine. I really literally heard the angels sing how they sing. And I saw all these shiny Pokemon cards. 
I thought about that time that my mother almost caught me. Man, she gave out the worst whoopings. But the problem was I didn't get caught, and I wouldn't get caught this time. So I pulled a couple cards, about 15, and put them in my pocket. <laughs> the next day I went to school, I was in the rings of trading these Pokemon cards. And I was trading them, and uh, when I got home, my teacher had called home because she said that I had caused a ruckus. I was apparently trading at a time that was not appropriate for school. <laughs> so my mom came to my room. She said, Tejal, your teacher called me. She said that you were causing commotion with Pokemon cards. I said, Mom, I was just trading my friend's cards. I wasn't lying, I was trading my friend's cards, my new friend. <laughs> and so she gave me that look again and walked away. I settled in my bed, turned on my TV, and just felt really great. You know, another day, another time that I didn't get caught. <laughs> Maybe about 15 minutes later, I hear my mom call from downstairs, Miss Tajel, come downstairs. I stand at the top of the stairs at the banister and I look down and there goes Des with his black binder looking at me with his seething eyes. Thank you. 